Obviously AIDS is a global problem um, and we're 30 years into the epidemic now. Africa still remains the epicenter of the AIDS epidemic, particularly this part of the region, sub-Saharan Africa, you know, 70% of new infections um, actually occur in this part of the world. And then more specifically, the hotspot is South Africa. So South Africa is actually uh, categorized as a hyperepidemic country. Over 10% of people are actually living with HIV in the country. And about 17% of the adult population are living with HIV and AIDS. 5.6 million is the latest estimate. That is the largest number of people in one particular country living with HIV in the world. HIV is everywhere and you don't have to run away from HIV because HIV, you are surrounded by HIV. I was a visionary and I was ambitious, I had dreams. But I looked around Massey and what I saw was hopelessness, was poverty of mind, was disease, was um, broken families. When I came in I was scared, but as much as I was scared I wanted to do this for the community, for the rest of the young people in South Africa to learn from my experience and learn from the story that I'll be sharing with them. The question I was asking myself was what can I do to be part of helping this society? You just have to try hard to get people to speak. We are a social species. Humanity, since we evolved hundreds of thousands of years ago, have always wanted to communicate as widely as we can. So that today in a country like here in South Africa, just about anyone can communicate with anyone else, anywhere else, immediately. I firmly believe that we're on the brink of a revolution in our understanding of human behavior. I study things like uh, how social networks, how social networking technologies affect the spread of behaviors. We have over a billion people in Africa right now, um, a third of them are living below the poverty line. Um, and yet, somehow, um, in this one continent, we have um, the fastest growth of mobile telephony in the world. And this is really an incredible opportunity to deliver life-saving information to people um, that previously were completely disenfranchised. It's now time to get to zero. Zero new HIV infections. Zero discrimination. Zero AIDS-related deaths. How does a conversation result in a population level pattern of behavior between individuals. If they tell their story, everybody in the community is going to know about it. I've been really working with men who have been reaching out to other men, calling my friends though, and you know, calling my leaders. By seeing someone from their community, it really encourages them to learn and to pass on the message because that's the idea, for them to, to receive the message and not just to sit down with the, with the information, but to pass it on to other people. So, 